One of the most important characteristics to social media success is consistency. Just consistently putting good quality content out there week after week after week, going to improve your social media success. Now, if you add on top of that, the characteristic of accountability, then I can guarantee you, and this is a guarantee, that if you, your followers will increase week over week over week. And the reason why is because I've done this enough with enough people to know that it works. I've created a spreadsheet, as we can see right here, which is essentially just tracking your basic analytics. Now, all we're doing in this spreadsheet is filling out the information at the end of each week and comparing to the previous. Now, what I'm asking you to do, because I'm going to offer this template to everybody, is to try it for six weeks. That's it. Just six weeks. Just remain consistent with the number of posts, at least three a week, and then track your analytics at the end of each week. And just watch and see what happens. You will get more activity. An idea how it works. All we would do is put your name there. This social media site we'll say is LinkedIn since these are the analytics for LinkedIn. And then it's just a matter of at the end of each week entering the information. Now I've pulled information from one of my clients who's using this. And one of the things that you're going to see, and one of the things that I am sure, even after six weeks, you're going to see, is that if you are consistent with the number of posts sent, then you will see a growth in your followership here. That, now, for most people, this is an, a novel idea, tracking information, what gets measured gets managed. I want you to track it because the more followers you get, the more opportunities your business gets, the more, the more opportunities for growth, the more opportunities to just put your brand out there, the more opportunities to sell your products and services, the more opportunities to find good people. Because And it's also going to allow you to eventually go viral because if you have a small following, no matter how great your content is, it is much harder to go viral. So what I suggest is that we start small. What I have in mind with what is viral when you're first starting out and you're the first time that you're tracking accountability, what I consider viral is five to 10 X your current engagement. That's what is viral. And then you keep building that base until you get to a point where all of a sudden people really start noticing. It's here. I'm going to have a link to this spreadsheet as a Google Sheet, as an Excel spreadsheet, and as a PDF. Please give it a try. Just try for six weeks. I would love to hear how it goes for you. Uh, John? Thanks again for joining me. It uh, I'm very interested to see one week later how we did with the original post and uh, the post we created. Um, how did we do? Very well. It was about a four-fold increase and then some. Um, not just on impressions, but a lot more comments and a couple of uh, reposts as well. So, um Really, it's pretty, uh, it's really interesting. And, and it, like I said last week when we did this, my gosh, it was such a simple solution. So I've done it, I think, for all of my posts since then as well. And they're, they're, they're not, you know, some topics are drier than others. So they're not always going to be as interesting, but, um, but it's the same sort of impact for the, the newer posts as well. That's great. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Um, so what were the numbers? Well, I think when we did it last week, I think it was 130 something, 131 or 135. Yeah, somewhere around uh, there. That post is now 181, but for comparison purposes, a couple of days later it was 131. Uh this morning I looked and the one we just that I posted this past Tuesday, same content is 789. 
Uh, so, so almost four and a half times greater. Yeah. So just so that the listeners know, we are we are doing this at exactly the same time that we did it last week, so that we're comparing the same time frame when you right. release the posts. So you went from 131 to 789 on the new posts. Yes. Oh, since then it's uh, you know, I'll I'll write it up in Word or my CRM and then run it through Chat GPT and they, you know, they do their thing and and usually I'll add a graphic to go with it and it's uh increased engagement as well on on all of the other ones. The other thing that it's taught me is to focus more on the data. Like I really hadn't looked at a lot of the analytics like on a you know, on a trend basis. So I just went back this morning and just, I'm just going to start looking and seeing, you know, what, what changed? Was it a graphic? Was it, you know, was it the topic or what am I doing to get a lot more engagement on some posts versus others? So, you know, I've been doing these for two years now and I really haven't focused a lot on the analytics. It's more just the content. So the other thing that this is, really help me to understand is I got to be aware of the analytics and just treat it like, like I would tell my clients, right? I mean, there's the data, let's work with the data. So, you know, LinkedIn is giving us the data there. We got to do something with it. Thanks again for watching. I will have a link to the spreadsheet in the show notes and the newsletter, as well as a link to the first video that I made with John Hogue. So that if you hadn't seen that, you'll be able to uh, watch that as well. And once again, Give this a try, the six-week challenge of making yourself accountable by consistently creating social media content. It will improve your followership, and I would love to hear how it works for you. You take care.